Okay, so this is kind of like what our uh, deck can do. Of like, if we can get Enraged Yeti plus Tall Tales to get a second Enraged Yeti and have the two of those put the Abominable Guardian in play and then we Blood for Blood the Abominable Guardian. And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Yeti Scargrounds. Going to be a meme tier deck that we're playing today on this casual Friday. This is a viewer submitted deck that built the deck wanting to put um, Scargrounds, Yetis together and Lissandra. Basically thinking if we have Lissandra that is leveled up, creates the zero mana ice shards for us want to try to combine that with the scar grounds because then it'll you know like if every single round we're getting ice shards it's killing our opponent's units but our units are just getting bigger so in order to do that we do have to level up lissandra and so a way to do that is with abominable guardian right because if we have abominable guardians round start they will just enter we'll also have trundle with the ice pillar uh, so those two things to help level it up to be able to make more abominable guardians we got blood for blood that if we have like one abominable guardian we can deal one to it create a copy in hand be able to play another one um so that's kind of like the thinking there and then we'll also have like some defense we'll have our normal ice shards we'll have avalanches um of course we got to get a lot of yetis for the abominable guardians we'll have all the yeti cards with the yearling the trapper the tall tales all of that the yetis are five power and plus scar grounds is going to be increasing power and so because of that We'll be able to have Trifarian Assessor draw a lot of cards. We'll have Whisper Words Reputation be able to get online very easy to get some more card draw. Um, and then we'll also have, with the Reputation, we'll have Tactician be able to rally for us. So, you know, cool little deck here. It's it's going to be a meme tier deck. Let's just go ahead and go play it in normal. We're going to try Yeti Scargrounds. Here we go. We'll go play five games. Okay, we got Draven Elise for our first deck. Well, good looking hand. I think we're just going to keep all of it. Now, I could mulligan the Guardian, but I don't know. We'll probably find like another Yeti, and then this Ancient Yeti will come in, and then this will come in and play for free. Oh, man, we need one more Yeti. We get double Abominable Guardian. Right, it's what our deck does. Right, it's... it's um, this isn't like, you know, the most competitive ranked deck or anything like that, so we're not trying to do anything too amazing uh, as far as win wins and losses is concerned but we want to do is something really amazing with all this stuff okay I think I'm just in there for an ice shard no I won't well we'll be streaming tomorrow yes but I will not be in the tournament I did not qualify I tried hard yesterday played all day but did not do well enough to qualify, unfortunately. I will bury the world in ice. Okay, Lissandra's nice because we can play Lissandra and still have Avalanche. They're definitely trying to play around Avalanche, it looks like. So by round eight, we can, which is in three rounds, we can hard cast, like this thing will cause zero. We can hard cast this Guardian, draw a Yeti, and then we'll be able to put these Yetis into play for free. So we'll be able to get like three eight drops in play round eight. That'd be pretty nice for leveling up Lissandra. But I'll just play this to block that Elise. This ball impedes all our plans. Okay, so it's possible if I block with Lissandra, it's possible they have, you know, pump spell plus spinning axe, or they just use both spinning axes, make it three power. 
and kill my Lissandra, but you know, maybe like a Brothers Bond type card. Since Avalanche is going to clear up this 1 1 anyway, we'll just take a little bit of a hit, not take all the damage. Okay. I think they were kind of already set in killing my Lissandra like that, and they were confused when I didn't block. I don't know. We'll take the win, 1 and 0. Oh. Yeah, that was kind of weird, but. Sivir action. Unfortunately, nothing's happened yet with these pretty broken Sharima cards. They're still, you know, Merciless Hunter, Ruin Runner, those kind of cards. They're still around and Shapestone, even though they've been too good for like a month now. Six weeks, two months. Still haven't changed. Quick hands make quick work. Tall tales. They appeared out of nowhere. Just a little farther. Okay, so I'll just start with a trapper. Well, we could avalanche. Just takes, you know, out those two. Let's start with the trapper. The trap is set. Get that one mana five five in there. Three three blocks these just fine. I guess every every one of their cards creates a new one. That's the theme. If they have Sivir and they have just Sivir with Challenger, I mean, I guess that's just game over, right? Because I don't <laughs> I don't think we can beat Sivir with Challenger. We must all do our so hopefully not. Hopefully something else, like the three two. My is okay, yours. that's not as bad. Okay, down to 11. Get okay, another enraged Yeti in here. Alright, we're gonna play a bunch of enraged Yetis. Bunch O enraged Yetis. Let's hope five fives get it done. Let's hope a bunch of five fives get it done. Mm. This treasure seeker is so good. Because yeah, they just alright, so they just fog my attack completely, because it's not worth wasting a five five. Make it so I don't get to attack that round. It's just waiting to be found. Come on, you Sivir with Challenger. Business as usual. Don't. I mean, even with this pressure, I don't really think that we're going to be defeating Sivir Challenger. Well, they should just enable reputation in one round. I protect my own. Make it worth my while. Got a lizard and a shovel. I have urgent news. They walk around. It's a trap. I go where the trouble is. It's never too far. Alright, what we get? 
Trapper and a Lissandra. King of Trolls coming through. We love it when they run. Gently, gently. <laughs> yep, this is Okay. That gives us that gives me hope. I'm gonna take down like the sandstone charger whenever they make that. I block two of these things. A dark cloud looms on the horizon. And I am tired of playing against Sivir. All right, one and one. You don't know what you've done. Diego Kindred. I'm kind of thinking this is going to be an Undying deck with a lot of Vulnerable. I think that's what we're going to be using the Bilge Water for. That would be my best guess. Okay, so this is kind of like what our uh, deck can do. Of like, if we can get Enraged Yeti plus Tall Tales to get a second Enraged Yeti and have the two of those put the Abominable Guardian in play and then we Blood for Blood the Abominable Guardian. Alternatively, I could blood for blood this Yeti Yearling that then puts the Abominable Guardian Broken into play. Jsnack, what's up? Thanks for joining in on the stream. Happy to have you here. Haha, <laughs> got him! Immediate concession. With the bomb getting free of guardians. Alright, well that's cool. Jarvin Garen. Cool. So those champions will match up against the Yetis. Duel it out. I want more Yetis, basically. I just sent those all back because they're not yetis. I want lots of yetis. So yeah, um... Approaching the battlefront. Meta, you know, lots of Sivir, lots of action. Uh, lots of like Shirima Iona decks. Shirima Ionia, those are going to be the two best regions right now. Rima and Ionia. Ooh, the Grand Plaza. That card's good. That card's good. Okay, well, we'll get Ancient Yeti in play. Break their spirits and their swords. All about the Yetis. I think I'm just going to attack with these two. Now I 
don't need I guess now I don't need to have ice shards for like a repost. I'm gonna play another one. And that'll be three out of four reputation for whisper words. This thing challenges and turns into the 5-5 five, five tough. Looks like Jarvan. Please ice shard on Jarvan. No quarter. Might as well just have these trade. Ours is but to do and die. They're gonna trade anyway. Don't need to take that damage. Yeah, so basically Blood for Blood makes 3 mana 5 4. Times will change, but Demacia must endure. Alright, so we'll just do the same thing again. Next round, we can play Assessor, draw three. Unless they open attack. Maybe I should just play Avalanche last round to try to kill that thing. Okay, never mind. I love that. That's good. No quarter. If I have my 1-2 block the 3 or either of these block the 3-6, then Jarvan levels up. I don't want Jarvan to level up. Ours is but to do and die. All right, so just to draw two right now, but we could have drawn another Assessor. Always a possibility. My king, the prince is taken. What? Guards, guards! So I attack out, I do five and kill all my stuff. The deck, the current deck that we're currently playing, um, yeah, this was made by Aroas, and Aroas wanted to try to build a list with um, like ice shards and scar grounds together. All right, down to three. Three's not a lot of life. Oh man, that scar grounds would have been so good to have. You know, back on round three when we had nothing, that would have been much better to have. Think of like all the small amounts of damage all of our units have taken in this game. All right, just gonna clear up the board. So we have a Scar Grounds and Alessandra, and they have one random card. And they are at two. If it's not a unit... Oh, Jarvan, you're I don't have anything for you to assess. No, it is a unit. Wait. I just killed myself by playing that. 
yeah, I didn't. I just played it by instinct and wasn't thinking, and then realized realized right after what was going to happen here. Yeah, definitely a cool deck for the opponent. This was a good game. Good game. Every fighter falls. I need to play that assessor. I don't. I, yeah, that was just a big mistake. Obviously, I wanted to like hold on to the assessor, um, so that like I wanted to hold on to it, so that like if if we would have drawn a five plus power thing. GG's. No quarter. If I play Assessor, you know, the Assessor just trades with that the first attack, assuming they attack right away. Lurkers. Okay, we found Scar Grounds. But... This is not a good Scar Grounds matchup because their units get lots and lots of power. And so they're going to kind of trade with ours anyway because, you know, they get four, five, six, seven power. And so it doesn't matter if your units have tough because they die. Either way. I can see that last one because my opponent, it was still just that opening hand and my opponent just wasn't doing anything and they were taking their entire time and I didn't want to just sit, sit around and play a 30 minute match while they take forever every single round, we're just in normals. So I just went to the next game. Avalanche. Okay, good avalanche. Hopefully pass. Hopefully no lurker attackers. Oh, that's a lurker attacker. That does, you know, at least take away their free attack they would have gotten this round, at least. You know what, let's go, Sandra. I don't think this Frozen Thrall should matter in the game, but you never know. It could. With their plans playing, like, another swarm. We have the tough blocker. They thought they were safe. <laughs> hmm. So they're not scared of the 5-5? Five five? Oh. Cut my line. Well, that's not good. <laughs> yeah, no, the Lurk deck... Yeah, Lurk deck does look neat. Um, and it could be good. This this champion right here, Pike, if you can level up this this champion, um, it is really powerful leveling that thing up. So it could do some cool stuff. The trolls are going to war. Like Ice Quake next round? Tides rising. Okay. Gonna trade with both of those. 
play this. So this would kill my Enraged Yeti and kill their Hatchling. So now they don't get to do any damage with this Pike. So they don't go towards the level up with the Pike. All right, we still we need this other Yeti Yearling in here, so we have two Yetis in play for the Abominable Guardian. So the good thing about the, the Zersa Wrath is that now my Ice Pillar won't hit Pike. If only we still had the Lissandra in play, be leveling it up. All right, we'll get reputation, we get to rally. Let's see if I do this. Hmm. I'm just really hoping they can't kill Trundle. My plan is to rally and then be able to challenge this Zersa Wrath with a five power thing. We have the Tactician blood for blood combo as well. Which I guess maybe that's that's why, I guess because of reputation. Oh, I, should, I guess I need to be attacking with the Guardian, don't I? I didn't think about that. Because I didn't, I didn't want to trade Guardian for a 5-1. I didn't think about making this cost too less. Which, okay, so if I would have Ice Shard and then attack with both of these, then we could have made this cost 6. I could have done Ice Shard also. Okay, well, I missed that. One must stack the wood before burning the pyre. Hey, Guten How. So we were pretty dead. They had pikes. We were, we were pretty dead. At least they missed Lurk. So I'm going with the Lissandra so that um So I can get these ice shards. Need ice shards to try to kill Pike. You will do as I command. Okay. Okay. I shard plus avalanche. Let's kill them all. Well, never mind. Might as well do this now while my nexus is tough, but it doesn't matter.
There was hope for a little bit. I'm one round away from this Frozen Thrall, too. I didn't start with Ice Shark because I want them because I thought they were gonna play another Lurker. I want them to play another Lurker that's taking the damage. So it's it's definitely not correct to start with the Ice Shark, except for specifically against that Jawfish card, which I don't know why I just joined another match. We played five. My bad. But yeah, like we're gonna be doing like the three damage all their stuff. I want them to play something else. I wanted to have them go do something, you know, play something else. Yeah, it's just GG's Pike, right? You know, like, that Pike spell, Death from Below. If you, if you can hit Death from Below, your win rate with Lurk's going to be pretty high. If you can, you know, like, especially when you play against a deck without removal, really. You know, like, we're just relying on Ice Shard and Avalanche for removal. So as you as you know, so those games, like, just like the Yetis and doing small amounts of damage and then playing big Yetis, that part was pretty good. That part was honestly pretty good. The The Scar Grounds didn't seem necessary uh, too much. You know, we never never had a Scar Grounds in play except for the one turn whenever we died. Um, and yeah, so three, three Sisters, Troll Chant, those kind of cards could help out. And that's where they probably had to go, right? It's probably like the Scar Grounds slot because you don't want to take out any Yetis. You don't want, you probably want to keep in your card draw. You want to keep in your Yetis. And so like the only, and like the Blood for Blood was pretty good. The only other option then is just simply the scar grounds, right? But if you so like, it, yeah, that's that's the only option. But like the whole point of the deck was to be a scar grounds, ice shard deck. So I don't know if that works out real well, taking out scar grounds from a scar grounds deck. But yeah, you'd have to rename the deck and everything. All right, but there we go. We got two wins. You know, this is just what the, the meme tier decks in normal are about. They're, you know, maybe we'll do our cool thing, maybe we won't. But, you know, kind of giving you more deck ideas. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, maybe you got some cool ideas from this. Or, you know, you have have some different ideas to work with from playing some Yetis and Scarground together with Lissandra. All right, but that's going to be it here for Yeti Scargrounds. So, uh, as always, thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you for the next video.